Nikon is making major waves in the mirrorless camera world, with two eagerly awaited new models on the way the Z6 III and Z90. While both push performance boundaries in distinct ways, they represent diverging philosophies when it comes to capturing decisive moments. Let's dive into the simmering battle between rolling shutter and global shutter tech. In one corner, we have the rumored Z6 III. If the rumors are accurate, this full-frame mirrorless camera could become the best option for both photography and videography. The Z6 III standout features are said to be amazing 6K video recording at 60 frames per second, and 4K video at an ultra-smooth 120 frames per second. It may also be able to take 20 still photos per second. This extremely fast image capture could help reduce distortion from the rolling shutter effect. There's more to the Z6 III as well. It's rumored to have an amazing 120 frames per second buffer for unlimited JPEG photos. This means you can take a ton of pictures without stopping. The Z6 III may also get Nikon's best 299-point autofocus system from the Z9 camera. With these capabilities, the Z6 III could be incredible for action and sports photography, letting you capture split-second moments perfectly. Then again, the Z90 adopts a more unconventional approach as Nikon's first global shutter camera in an interchangeable lens body. For the uninitiated, global shutters capture the entire sensor simultaneously rather than line by line. This all but eliminates those unsightly rolling shutter artifacts that can distort fast motion. Global shutter sensors have been used for a long time in industrial and scientific cameras, but they are just starting to come to regular consumer cameras. However, Nikon seems to be ahead of the game. Rumors suggest the Z90 will have an impressive 15 frames per second shooting speed with continuous autofocus and auto exposure. This lets you capture smooth, uninterrupted sequences of action. The Z90 is also said to be able to record 4K video at 60fps and super slow motion 1080p video at 180fps. These video features make the Z90 really appealing for photographers and videographers who need to capture multimedia. Of course, global shutters aren't without trade-offs. Less efficient capture typically translates to more noise, heat buildup, and shorter battery life compared to rolling shutters. The Z90's purported 33-megapixels DX sensor also casts doubt on its low-light prowess versus the Z6 III full-frame imager. Then again, an APS-C body gives you that sweet crop factor for extra reach. While both cameras will undoubtedly raise the performance bar, their differing sensor formats cater to distinct audiences. The Z6 III seems tailored for professional shooters who prize outright resolution and low-light quality in a robust, ergonomic body. Its blistering speeds and video specs make it a holy grail for cross-disciplinary shooters. Comparatively, the Z90 aims to court sport, wildlife pros and hobbyists who place a premium on capturing distortion-free motion over absolute low-light performance. Its very existence ushers in a new frontier of global shutter mirrorless imaging previously unattainable at consumer price points. When it comes to speed, both cameras blaze new trails in their respective categories. The Z6 IIA's rumored 120fps burst JPEG buffer is frankly insane for a full framer handily trumping even the 20fps Z9. And while the Z90's 15fps global shutter rate seems modest on paper, it's a game-changer for distortion elimination during fast action. Pricing remains a wild card, but the Z6 III will likely encroach upon $3,000 territory given its performance aspirations. Being an APS-C specialist could find itself between $1,500 to $2,000 a significant bargain if its global shutter talents deliver. But we'll have to wait and see if these new cameras perform as well as their rumored amazing specs. 2024 looks to be an excellent year for Nikon camera users. Whether you need ultra-fast shooting speeds from the video-focused Z6 III with its rolling shutter, or you prefer the distortion-free images from the global shutter on the Z90, Nikon's upcoming new cameras offer very appealing options for photographers and videographers. The company seems to have attractive models coming for creators with different needs. 
The main question is which type of shutter technology works better for the kind of photography you do. The rolling shutter of the Z6 III and the global shutter of the Z90 are very different approaches. As these two unique new Nikon cameras get closer to being released, photographers will start analyzing and comparing them in detail. So what do you think? Let us know your opinion in the comment section below and thanks for watching.